Generic greetings and welcome back to Outsourcing plus Game Dev Tycoon episode 2. This is Stuff Plus Entertainment, our entertainment company, and this is the series where I take your game ideas and put them in the game in an attempt to make loads of money and become the best games company we can. So, uh, last episode we made a fair few games. We got a lot of money off the last one. Let's check our game history. We got uh, Featherstone, or Featherstone Escape. Uh, yes, people point out that I spelt, misspelt Featherstone. Long story short, I have a keyboard that's miles away from me because I have a big box that my microphone sits on. I know, very professional, but uh, you know, that's just why, so I couldn't really see it, I couldn't really type it, and you know, anyway, that's, it's done now, it's done, but we all know it's Featherstone. Either way, I got a 9.75. Maybe if I spelt it right, it, it would have got a 10. Uh, we will never know. Anyway, we got 4.9 million off that, <laughs> 4.7 of it was just complete profit, which is absolutely absurd. Um, anyway, we're going to hire a new person first, we're going to fill position. You can, hire up four, you can have four employees in this office, uh, so it says here, you can hire up to four employees in this office. Don't try to hire everyone at once, staff are expensive, many rookies hire too early and gone bankrupt, best to take it slow, indeed. So what we're going to do is going to increase our budget to 100k, and we are going to look for... Actually, what are we going to look for? Let's check if one second, one second before we do that. Let's check our, um, can we go to staff list? Yeah, staff list. So there's me. I've got 300 in design, 300 in technology, and speed and researcher, 300 anyway. And I don't draw a salary, apparently. Zero per month. Okay. Uh, the next guy, we have, uh, it's about even as well. 105 in design, uh, 195 in design, 204 in technology. What I want is a person who's very, very good with technology. I think I think that's what we're going to go for. We need like a coder, so let's go to fill position. We'll get our budget of 100k and we'll go for complex algorithms and we'll start looking. In the meantime, we're going to research a couple of things. Let's start researching, um, what do we go for? Better AI? Uh, no, simple, let's go for better dialogues, shall we? Oh no, new topic. We haven't done a topic for a while. Let's get, ooh, transport. Oh, that's what we unlocked um, earlier for our little, um, when we did our evil plan of paying someone to go and steal it. Uh, let's get hospital, why not? And we'll get this guy to research as well. We can research, he can research steering wheel. It's going to cost a little bit of money, but no problem, because we got 5.5 million. Although, it's always best to, uh, you know, make sure you're over a couple of million, in my opinion, anyway, because, you know, you might have a bad couple of games. Um, especially in this series, because I have no idea, you know, I am literally taking your game ideas. I, I, you know, I'm not prejudging them, they might be good or bad. You know, I could look at them and go, oh, that's probably not going to work, but we're still going to do them anyway. Anyway, uh, we got uh, Bryson Hudson, uh, who's level 2, uh, got 204 technology. What's our next guy? 164, <laughs> but only <laughs> only 35 in design. Um, what about this one? Ooh, there we go. 475 in technology. Ooh, look at that level 3. 32k a month, though. <sighs> That's expensive. That is expensive, but it is quite not too bad. That's 22k for 240. 242 and is going to cost 22k a month and this one is 475 that's massive we're gonna get Pauline welcome Pauline uh, markets are normalized again so there's no particular trends going at the moment that's fine so we'll give Pauline the oh not research we'll give Pauline the uh, welcome staff the staff welcome training which is what we want and let's do that so you can see our research is going up there uh, uh, a little like you know acceptance I guess it is um, that's going up and you know we've got these are down on our characters as well they're gonna slowly go up we're not gonna get another character yet we're gonna keep it as is I say characters staff I guess um, what can we do can we train a bit we might as well train a bit if you want to create hit games you have to have a world-class team then training is important for the best results train your staff regularly but don't overwhelm them with too many sessions at once. There are different training options available. Some are, options are better increase certain skills and others experimenting is the best way to figure out which training options fit your plans. It is useful to have a mix of specialists, which is what she is, um, and all rounders in your team but aim to have at least one design specialist and one technology specialist. Well we've already got our technology specialist which is our uh, Pauline which we've just hired. So eventually we'll get a design specialist. Anyway, we've got uh, book studies on here. We can we can actually um, train people to do different things. So I can increase these here. Now again, bad feedback. Look, we don't really know. It doesn't tell us which one does which. You just have to sort of know or research it beforehand. Um, let me think, I believe, is for research. Game dev gems is, re is design and technology in equal measure. Game design for pirates is design over technology. Don't repeat yourself is... 
speed, maybe? I don't know. And coding complete, I believe, is technology over, de over design. But I, I, I really don't know. I can't remember them all. I did research them, but again, trying to remember them all. A pain in the butt. I've actually got a couple of crib sheets, actually, that I've made myself, just so I can actually look things up as well. Um, until they actually sort of alter it so you can see more, op like, you know, the, what, what's actually going to happen. Anyway, that's a sort of side note. Let's go for, um, make me think on my main guy. And you can train in make me think. No, you can train in, what's your sort of technology? What's his skills? Contract word. Hi, I heard you've been very successful in the gaming business and are starting to grow as a team. I've uploaded clients list. Yes, we've got more contract work. And medium-sized contracts have been unlocked. Ooh, I've never done them before. This is pretty new. Like I say, I, I have played, I mentioned in the last, um, a video that I have actually, um, you know, played a little bit, but I don't really get very far, and um, you know, I tend to get a certain point and then just go bankrupt, which is always, always, it's not really great, is it? Um, anyway, let's check our. We got Alex Ferguson, who is got technology and design, and I think we need to increase his design, make him more, um, more sort of. Uh, universal, yeah, universal is the term. Let's get game design for pirates. That'll increase his design. At least it should. Um, yeah, my research is going up on him, and this is design going up on him. And you know what? You can train as well. We've already give uh, the uh, we've already given the staff welcome training, but let's train her in. Hmm. Code incomplete, I think. Oh, we don't have the research points to do any of them. Oh well, you can just sit there and stare and drink your coffee. That's good. You're getting this guy, Alex Ferguson. Uh, getting him more sort of universal. There we go. They've got their. They're now fully uh, acclimatized to the office with um, Pauline turning up, and she's almost there as well. So we're going to start on our next project. I will be probably making another game engine at some point, but I want to make a couple more games first. So, first one on the list. Let's develop a new. Oh no, we'll wait till she gets full first. Come on, keep going. We've got enough money to just sort of sit around and do, you know, uh, not much. I guess. Come on. Come on. I wish the game was actually slower than it is. That's one of my things as well. I wish you could like slow it down so the time is uh well a lot slower. Um oh, is this guy I think this guy wants a bit of time off. Let's send him on vacation. You can see that little bar there. Send him on vacation, he'll disappear for a little bit. He'll come back in a moment. Come on. In your own time. Anyway, yes, we've got um, oh, 82 grand. Is that what is that what I'm paying every month? Ah! We're losing a lot of money then, just having just sitting around doing nothing. Let's do a bit of contract work while we wait for him to come back off holiday. Um 19k. Easy. Should be easy to do, especially with Pauline, because she's a technology whiz. Apparently not, she's scratching her head. Well done, Pauline. Thanks for that. <laughs> anyway, we're all back. Uh, 19k, excellent. Right, develop new game. So, our new game is going to be, or our first suggestion is a medieval RPG called Stuff Plus Rebellion. Okay, that's fine. Uh, stuff Plus uh, Rebellion. There we go. Okay, um, for mature audiences, ooh, daring. On any console I see fit. When you say console, I'm assuming you mean platform. Um, mature audiences, what's probably best for mature? PC is good for mature. Let's put it on the stuff plus one engine, we don't have a choice. Let's put it on the PC. Or should I put it on the Master V? Hmm, I don't know actually. Master V, no, you don't want to probably put it on the Master V. Tez is a bad idea. I think it's going to be the PC, isn't it? It's going to be, it's going to have to be the PC. We'll put it on the PC. And it's going to be a medieval RPG, is it? So, pick topic, medieval, uh, mature, PC, and one. Right, let's go. Next stage. Um, what are we going to put it? Uh, 2D design, yeah, we want 2D design, which we've got 2D design, we'll have V2. Just checking all the options here. Yep, that's fine. I do actually make a list of the ones I'm going to attempt. I'm going to attempt six games in this one. We'll see how that goes. Anyway, first dev stage. These have all been specified by the person as well, which is excellent. Uh, so first dev stage is engine at 33%. And it's this bit here. Not here, not here I'm guessing. Um, gameplay 60 and story at 80. Ooh. Story at 80, eh? Um, gameplay at 60. Ah, no. 33, 60, and 80, so I'm guessing you mean these, the actual sliders. Okay, that's fine. Um, so 80, 60, and about 33. That's all about. That's about that there. Uh, save game, yep. Yeah. Linear story and the gamepad. You want the full lot in there, do you? Uh, open world. Uh, we don't have open world, I'm afraid. That was one of the things he wanted, but we don't have open world. So we're going to have to skip it. Uh, I think that'll do us. Maybe a bit more on that one. That'll do us there. Okay. Let's see. Let's reduce the engine a little bit, I think. A uh, bit of an executive decision to about there. Okay, 
There we go, dev stage one. Right, so here, here we go. Uh, oh, well done. We've just put bugs in. That's all we've put in. <laughs> I'm Steve O'Connell, reporter for Planet GG. Uh, we've heard a rumor that your company is developing a game for mature audiences. Would you like? To, would you be willing to give an interview? Yes, we're definitely going to give an interview. Great. Thank you for your time. No problem at all. We'll publish the interview next week. Excellent. Ooh, it's always a bit uh, controversial when you start developing a mature game. Anyway, dev stage two. Dialogue at sixty percent. Uh, so about that's fifty sixty. Uh, maybe a bit more, and our level design at 50, that's fine, and AI uh, about 33%, maybe about there, I think we'll put the dialogue up a little bit, um, I think that's about us, yep, that'll do us nicely, development stage 2, come on, start piling them into the games, Plant GG has recently published an interview with Stuff Plus Entertainment, according to the interview, the company is working on its first Game targeted at mature players, Stuff Plus, owner, of C owner and CEO of Stuff Plus Entertainment said, We think the players are looking for more mature content in games and we are willing to take a risk to give them to them. Many industry experts say that sooner or later games with mature games will become more common. We are curious to see how the market will react to these games. Yes, I'm I'm really <laughs> curious about what's going to happen. Developing a great game is not on, on... Hang on. Developing a great game is not the only recipe for success. It's essential to build your hype to ensure that players are excited about the game. In the beginning of your career, hype is mostly generated through random events, but once you gain more experiences, you can use marketing and other strategies to generate hype. Uh, can we market yet? Yes, we can. Let's market. Uh, marketing can be very effective to, re um, to, re to reach more potential customers, but it can also be very expensive too. It's best to experiment carefully with marketing to get a feel for what works best. Don't invest too much and remember that timing is important. Don't invest in your marketing efforts too early in development or too late. Okay. It's also important to know that no matter how much uh, money you bump into marketing will not make a bad game successful. To the contrary, it can even hurt uh, to market bad games too much as it can upset your fans. Pretty sure there's been several games came out as of late that have been absolutely terrible but have been hyped up to insanity so they've actually been like sort of successful commercially. Hmm, I'm not going to name a couple. I I'm not going to name them. Anyway, uh, let's do some, let's do a bit of uh, marketing. So we can either put uh, we can just put it in magazines. It's going to cost us 50k. We get a bit of hype off that. We can do magazines and demos, which is 150k. Small campaign, which is uh, start a global marketing campaign including magazine ads, demos, and interviews for 500k. And large campaign is two two million. Start a global marketing campaign, promote the game far and wide, organize it in, organize exclusive interviews, behind the scenes reports, TV trailers and more. Two million, that is far too much for us. I think we're going to go with magazines and demos, but we'll wait till the next stage. Uh, oh, look at these bubbles here, look at these popping up here. Right, and then on the final stage, dev stage three, so apparently world design wants to be about 80%, so about there, graphics, uh, uh, graphics 70%. So about there, and sound at about 50%. And want mono sound apparently. That'll do us nicely. We'll put the world design up a little bit, I think. About there. That'll do us nicely. Okay, and I think we'll now fling a marketing scheme on this of magazines and demos. Go. So we can see our hype's for because we did that previous interview. And there we go, it's going up to 20, 21, 22. It's going up because of that uh, magazine and demos. Excellent. Right, so we've just finished it off. We're just going to polish, finish and crush all the bugs. Come on, crush the bugs, polish it off a little bit more, add a couple more elements in here. Look at that, that's pretty good. Industry news. Today, Nevento has announced the much-anticipated uh, successor to the popular Tez console. This is the greatest console we have ever built. It comes with a state-of-the-art 16-bit graphics sound. Uh, it's simply super, uh, super, and that's why we decided to call it the Super Tez. The Super Tele Entertainment System. Although, I've already got one there before they even developed it, so you know. <laughs> Don't know how much that. Good. Fans around the world have been waiting for this moment. It seems that they will not be disappointed. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens with that. Anyway, I think we're finished polishing. Let's finish it there. So we've got 38 and 38 in design. Stuff post rebellion complete. New record. Excellent. Uh, we haven't got any combos, which is a bit weird. Okay, let's see what happens. Release the game. Ooh, come on. What are these scores going to be? First views for our new release game. Stuff plus rebellion came in. Here we go. Here we go. Nine. Good start. Great game by Star Games. Eight. Very good. My informed gamer. Not too bad at all. Come on. Keep it above the eights, please. Seven. Good game. Oh, that's Game Hero. Right. This has to be above an eight. Eight. That'll do me. Love, oh, love it by all games. Not bad at all. That's very respectable. So that should hopefully get some cash flowing in. Yeah, it's not doing too bad. Not really selling off the shelf, but you know. It seems that RPG games are especially popular at the moment. Good. 
Good, I've just released one. Look at it go! Look at it fly. Oh, couldn't have timed that better. And there we go, 50k. It's going up. Oh, it's going off the dial. Oh, no. It's going down to a simmer. It's slowing down. No, keep developing. Keep selling. Anyway, while that's selling, let's develop a new game. So, it's going to be a military action game called The Brown Shooter. So, we'll put uh, military and action together and we'll call it The Brown Shooter. Um, platform PC, apparently. Uh, PC, that's fine with me. And... Hmm, what's, what are we marketing at? We haven't marketed it towards anyone yet, so... What if we market it on... We can't put it on Young, because PC ain't great for that. If we put it on everybody... I think everybody, the brown shooter. Yeah, it's marketed for everybody. And that'll do us nicely. So, we'll have a 2D graphics, I think. That'll do me quite nice. Start. So, I imagine... <laughs> I imagine where this is going. I'm guessing it's going to be um, that and that and that. Right, hang on, let me have a quick look. Full engine, full gameplay, and no starring quests. Actually, there you go. So we'll put it's a linear story. We'll have a save game. We'll put the gamepad in as well. Why not? Um, yeah, let's go for the next. Here we go. Let's get the development going. How's our money rolling in on this one? Not great. Stuff, stuff plus rebellion isn't selling very well. Today, the game platform for the Super Tez by Nevento has been released. Excellent. I'm not going to develop on it yet. Well, we'll see. Right, next uh, dev stage, we have no dialogues, full level design and full AI. So, full AI, full level design, and no dialogues. Hmm. We'll see what happens with this one. We want technology to be higher on these um, for action games in general. And the final one is max all, apparently. Okay, we'll max it all. Okay, that'll do me. Ah, this is a quite easy one to develop. Um, Stuff plus relevant is off the market, sold 76,000 units, generating over just over half a million in sales. Not great then, really, considering RPGs were, you know, off the dial. Was it even an RPG I developed? Surely it was an RPG. Um, Stuff plus relevant, yeah, medieval RPG, so why didn't it sell off the charts? Maybe because it's mature. Anyway, let's crush the bugs and get the brown shooter out. See, I like this one. This only took us like a day to make or something. It was crazy, a couple of weeks. Uh, let's just finish polishing it off. And that will do us nicely. So, the brown shooter. Reviews are in. A oh, new record for our uh, our technology, which is quite good. Let's release the game, see what happens. Oh, look, we got a bit of uh, fatigue on this. Best reviews for our newly released game, the brown shooter are in. I'm expecting this to f absolutely just crash. Eight, very enjoyable. I didn't do a marketing campaign on this because I've spent a bit of money on the last one. It didn't work. Eight, love it by Inform Gamer. Excellent. And seven by good, yeah, good Game by Game Hero. And if this is a seven, we'll be fine. Eight, played for days. Excellent. That's not bad at all. I sh if this was... Obviously, I know this This is <laughs> this is trying to parody the generic brown shooters that we get constantly these days. Um, although, it's sort of changing now. But, you know, we've had for the last, you know... Pretty much half a decade, of, or nearly decade, of brown just shooting. Um, I reckon we should have probably hyped it up with a massive two mil marketing campaign. That would have really just, you know, made it uh, accurate. Anyway, let's send her on vacation. Uh, we don't need you for the moment. Let's do a bit of contract work while we wait. Little simple ones like this. You might as well do something while you wait. Oh, proposition. Uh, A nine Z B N G U A F N. Let's just decrypt that. Very special offer. Our agents have recently managed to gain access to some critical systems of one of your competitors. Uh, if you want to play war games, then transfer sixty three to the enclosed location. And we'll initiate sabotage. Decline. No, we don't. We don't want to play that. We don't want to play that sort of thing. No, we're going to do this legitimately. We're about making games. Not messing with people up. And we, we can, we can, you know, we, we, we will take a bit of you know, knowledge if someone goes, uh, do you want to just give me this bit of money and I'll give you uh, what they're working on? No, that's no problem. That's different to sabotage. Uh, success anyway, 22k. Oh, the, uh, we've got uh, Pauline back. How was your holiday? All right, where'd you go? Barbados? Yes, excellent. Right, develop a new game. Let's do this. Uh, where are we going to do... What are we going to do now? Uh, do a history RPG. Well, currently, we got RPGs, uh, you know, trending, so... Oh, okay, let's do that. Uh, a history RPG. History RPG. And um, we'll put it on the... Hang on. Uh, have the specified platform. History RPG. Put it on PC, apparently. That's fine. We'll put it on PC. Uh, we'll put it on game en our standard game engine. Um, what are we going to call it? History RPG. So we're just going to call it... Um, I guess we could just call it... Uh, His... RPG. His RPG. That'll do us nicely. Totally and <laughs> not really <laughs> that unique, I know. Uh, I could just call it History Plus RPG. That'll work. 
done. Uh, let's put it on for let's let's make it everybody and um, we'll start development uh, 2d graphics I think it'll do as nicely start development I just hope the popular genre stays popular uh, while I develop this let's put it on gameplay full story full and engine a third apparently so engine about a third that's fine with me uh, we'll have game paddle in your story and save again we'll just keep them on there only cost 20k to put on uh, oh the media is buzz with the latest uh, news from this year's entertainment conference a surprise announcement of uh, Vony a company known for General Electronics has presented a prototype called the Play System. Ooh, apparently Venny collaborated with Nevento, creators beloved uh, successful Tez and Super Tez, developed this what was basically a Super Tez with a CD drive. This will be the world's first console using a CD drive. And, and uh, yeah, we go. Uh, journalists around the world baffled only one day after Vony and Nevento jointly announced the Play System at the Entertainment Conference, uh, entertainment conference things turned sour. Um, Nevento announced today they will cancel a project and said to seek development on a new console with a different partner. <laughs> Rumours that the dis deal that the companies had worked out was unfavourable for Nevento handling over much of control to Vorni. It seems to be the end of the play system. Yeah, it isn't. Right, uh, brown shooters keeping us afloat. Uh, that's pretty good. As long as we sell, you know, as long as we keep over the 2 million mark, I'm okay. Anyway, Dev Stage 2 for History Plus RPG is level design and dialogue are full and AI at a quarter. So, uh, dialogue and level design full, AI a quarter, uh, about there. That'll do as nicely. And then the dev stage 3 is world design full and graphics and sound mid. Put it on the PC, we've already done that. That's good. So, world design full and graphics uh, and sound mid. So, we'll put it mid. Maybe a bit lower than that. There we go. And we'll, I think we'll use a bit of a marketing campaign. We'll put it on magazines and demos, 150k. Uh, two months, the Tez will be taken off the market. Brown shooter is off the market. Oh, mid over. Uh, mid didn't sell very well, actually. 68,000 units, generating 481,000 generic credits in sales. It's not bad, that's fine. Doesn't look like we're putting many design technology in this. Although, it's about even spread. Let's just keep polishing it off, get rid of the bugs. Come on. Do you want to develop? Anytime you want. Why is Alex Ferguson not working? Come on, work. Uh, bugs polished off, design and technology. Let's keep going. Keep polishing. I think that'll do us about there. Uh, damn it, damn it, I should have released it. Ah, oh, there's no trends in the moment. Oh, damn it! If I just click release about like a second before that, we'd be alright. Anyway, new combo, which is alright. Uh, hopefully it'll sell alright. Release the game. Due to increased expense, the following staff have earned the raise. Um, ooh, increased experience even. Alex Ferguson has gone up to 29k. What? What? No. No way. You haven't earned that. <laughs> First reviews for our new release game, History Plus RPG, have came in. Oh, this isn't good. This is going to bomb, isn't it? Oh, could have been more. Oh, not good start. Six, they're focused on gameplay, serve the game very well, that's not bad. Uh, five, falls a bit short, and seven, good game. Not bad, that's okay, that's average. I don't know what's going to sell though, which is the main thing. Selling... Rubbish. Damn it. Tez no longer supported, that's great. And our History Plus RPG has bombed. So, we have a problem. Let's just find a bit of contract work while we think about what we're going to do. Let's just do this one here. That's not good. Uh, right. Our next game is going to be a space strategy game. Um, which I think will be okay. Let's just find a bit more contract work while we wait. Um, let's just get that one there. That's easy. I should really do the uh, more expensive ones. Yeah, this is this game's just bombing totally. That's not good at all. Uh, contract successful, 20k. Right, I think we need to send you on vacation and I think what we need to do is start researching a couple of things let's research uh, graphics 2d graphics v3 yes it's gonna cost a lot of money but it's worth it I think uh, you can research um, what do you want to research mm, we don't want 3d graphics yet I'm gonna stick with 2d graphics for now uh, better dialogues no we've only got five research points can't, can't do anything you then can train in coding complete keep doing code <laughs> You shouldn't, um, you shouldn't tell them to do the same sort of thing, like learning-wise, straight after like you've just done it. Um, I know I haven't done that. I know I've, she's she actually went on she's been on holiday and such uh, before. So you know, but basically you shouldn't uh, you shouldn't train them and then train them up in the same thing because the bonuses that you won't get nowhere near uh, as, as much as the previous one. You want to separate it out, even if it's just different book learnings. Anyway, uh, game off the market, uh, 30,000 units, not even a quarter of a million. Pathetic. Anyway, 2D graphics is done. 
No more research. Let's work on a new engine once she's done there. Let's work on a contract while we're still sitting around. That one there. This is easily done. Quickly get this done. Oh, she's done. She's quick. She's finished reading. Put the book down. Excellent. Right, let's develop a new engine. So, develop custom eng. Uh, what did we call the last engine, actually? Uh, was it stuff plus eng? Uh, stuff plus eng one, yeah. Okay, so we'll develop a new engine. We'll call it stuff plus eng v1. V1. No, V2. V2. Like that. Did I have it like that? I can't remember. I'm really pedantic about this one. Uh, how was it? It was space V1. That's fine. Okay. So, develop custom engine. It's going to be uh, stuff plus, uh, plus eng V2. Right. So, this is the graphic options. Let's take out 2D graphics uh, V2 and put in V3. Okay. Because the way I see it... Um, you know, this is basically the options that you get. So if I put them in, I'd be able to pick either or. But it's going to cost me another 50k to develop the engine. And no, I'm going to always use V3. Uh, we're going to have, uh, you know, if I want to go to V2, I'll just use the old engine. Anyway, V3, mono sound, linear story, save game. Let's put a steering wheel in there, level editor, and open world as well. That's going to cost a fair bit of money, but I think that will do us quite nicely. Create the engine. Uh, 125 to make it, but uh, she is a coding machine, so she should be able to do it. Apparently not, though. She's just sort of sitting and scratching her head. Looks like I'm working on it. Oh, there we go. Look. Oh, loads of... Look at that. Look at that getting developed there. Oh, and we're also nearly under 4 million, which is a bit of a problem. Mm, we'll see what happens there. Hmm. Okay, stuff plus eng v2 is now complete. Okay, next game, develop new game. It is going to be uh, a game called. Oh, that's copyrighted. Okay, so let's call it. Um, hmm, it's a space strategy game. So we'll call it. Uh, and they have put a name on this, but it is copyrighted. I mean, to be fair, I, I could probably use it anyway because I make games. I put games on this channel, but uh, no, let's call it. Um, um, home. Plus world. There we go. And it's going to be a space strategy game. So we go to space and strategy. That's fine with me. Um, what's it going to be? I'm guessing PC. Um, hmm. You could design or choose the best besides the 3D graphics. Yeah. I can't. I don't have 3D graphics at the moment, so it's going to have to be 2D. We're developing this early. Uh, let's put it on the. What should we put it on? Let's, let's check the market share out. Um, PC, I think. We'll put it on PC. And um, we'll market it to... It's probably a mature game, is it? Is it a mature game, would you say? Uh, Home Plus World? I don't know. It's for everybody, but it is a sort of... I think the community is mature. Mm, we'll put it to... Everyone. We'll keep it to everybody. Next, let's put it on 2D Graphics V3. Excellent. Start the development, please. So, uh, with 100% on gameplay and story and 20% engine. Okay. Um, this might not go well. Uh, we don't need a gamepad and we don't need a steering wheel, but we do want a linear story and save game. Hmm. That might fall down, that. Okay, I don't think this uh, putting like uh, this much in the engine is a good idea, but we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see what happens here. Uh, next is... 100% uh, level design and AI and 40% dialogue. So, AI and level design and 40% dialogue. I'm making an executive decision to knock that down to none, actually. We don't need any. Uh, level editor, we'll put that in. Um, we've reduced that right down. The executive decision, I think we don't need that dialogue up. I mean, we, we got a bit there. We still, if you look at the main bar at the bottom, we still had a little bit. Um, uh, and I have 100% graphics and 50% world design and sound, so that's fine with me. So 50, 50 on these two, we'll have it. It's not going to be open world, is it, really? Um, it's going to be mono sound, that'll do us nicely, and there, yeah, we're done. Okay, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens with Home Plus World. Uh, let's do a bit of a marketing campaign, actually. Oh, we shove it on magazines and demos. No, magazines and demos? Uh, yeah, magazines and demos, 150k. Might as well hype it up a bit. Well, design technology is quite high. That's quite good. We'll just crush the bugs, polish it off, and get it out the door because we are steadily going down the pan, our company. We need to get some money in this door. Um, come on, just finish it off. Uh, Dear Stuff Plus Entertainment, we've followed your progress recent years and we'd like to extend this formal invitation to participate in the biggest games convention known as the Games, Games, Games. Ooh, G3! Having your own company booth at G3 can gain a lot of fans and hype for your games and we lack... Uh, uh, we uh, think our audience would love to see you there. Hope you contact uh, you with options at G3. Ooh, so G3 is going to allow me in. Excellent. Uh, let's finish... No, let's 
get rid of that bug. Let's finish the game and send it out the door. And our next game will probably show G3. New record on that. Um, home. This should be a good combo, actually, but apparently not. Let's release the game, see what happens while we're waiting. We're going to find a bit of contract work, and yeah, we can do that. Oh, actually, no, the design's pretty high. There's not many. There's only me on design. First reviews for Home Plus World have came in. Uh, let's see what happens. We need high numbers. Seven. Oh, bad start. Seven, eight. Played for days. Game form, ga in form game. That's not bad. Seven, enjoyable. And if this is a seven, we're not doing too bad. Nine. Space strategy. Uh, space and strategy is a great combination. Excellent. Hopefully this will sell quite well because we really need the cash. Um, it's not selling bad actually. That not bad at all. I mean, not very good, but not bad. Um, all right, there's that finished off. Contract successful. Uh, 48k to my account. Anyway, develop a new game. Okay, so uh, the next one is called. Let's have a look. Uh, stuff plus yar, and it's going to be a pirate. It's an open world pirate game for everybody on the Master V. Very specific. So it's a pirate open world game. Uh, what do you mean by open world though? 2D graphics, save points, development stage, it's all been specified, but not what type of game it is. Ooh, open world game, should we make it an action game? Pirate action game, I think so. Uh, what did you want it on again? Uh, the Master V. Okay, we can do that, Master V, and we'll buy the license, that's fine, and we'll pick the stuff plus NG V2. Um, the Master V, what is good for the Master V? Uh, young audiences are good on the Master V, so we'll do that, we'll, we'll develop it for young audiences, and a pirate action game. A pirate adventure game, not a pirate action. Oh, we could pi pirate casual. Pirate action. Uh, I think that'll do us quite nicely. Pirate action, next. Okay, we want a 2D graphics V3. Start development. Okay, so, apparently we want save points, which we have. Uh, we'll put a gamepad in it, that's fine. And develop stage one, 50-50 gameplay and story. Um, what about the engine? Hasn't been specified. Okay, so, about, so that is 50-50 there, and the engine... Um, I think we need to put that up a little bit. Um... Hmm, 50 50 gameplay and story. So, what can we put on the engine? Engine about there, I think. I think that'll do us quite nicely. And for action games, I think you need a bit more technology than design in general. Um, let's just get these done. Come on, keep going. Next one, we devastate two 50 50 gameplay and story. Um, what? What? Eh? Oh, devastate two, sorry. 50 50 uh, dialogue and level design. Uh, dialogue and level design. But again, you need AI for this type of game for actions. Uh, well, you know what? It's not me developing the game. It's you. So let's put the, let's put the AI to about midway. I think executive decision that. Actually, you know what? <laughs> Do I executive decision the dialogue? I think I'm gonna have to. No, no, sack it. It's your game. This. It's not my game. <laughs> it's your game. If this fails. It's your fault. Uh, let's see what happens. This could have been such a good game as well. It might still be a good game. Uh, open world apparently. Which we're going to do, and um, all work towards design apparently in this one, uh, and not really too much on the graphics and sound. I'm going to put this graphics right up, or not maybe reduce a little bit, and the sound down a little bit. That'll do us quite nicely, and go. Oh, we're getting a bit of fatigue on her. She's a bit fatigued. It doesn't matter. Keep going. Keep developing. Oh, game convention. Let's have a medium booth. Uh, oh, that's 500k. Let's have a small booth. <laughs> uh, we'll also fire a marketing campaign off our magazines and demos. Um, I'm just going to polish this game off. Uh, we should get our pop-up for G3 in a moment to show our game being shown at G3, which would be quite good. Although, to be fair, the design and technology are not very good on this one. Keep polishing. Uh, Home Plus World is off the market. It made over half a million in sales. Not bad, but we're still going down. We still haven't had our we still haven't had a big hit this game. Here we go. Game game convention at G3. So stuff plus entertainment. Stuff plus yeah, that's what we're showing at the moment. Oh, come on, we're going to get over 10,000. Oh, look at this. 21,000 people to start. 20, oh, 30, 40. Oh, it's going up. Come on, over 500. No, we're not going to get. We're not going to get that. I thought it was going to be over 50,000. So, not bad at all. A lot of people, so the hype should go up. We had 47,500, eh, 47,655 people visiting our booth this year. We did make it to the top 100 booths. Once again, um, well, but once we gain more fans, I'm sure we will. Yes, we will. But look at our hype. It's massive. Uh, let's get this game out the door and just see how bad it is. New topic, new combo, not bad at all, that's good, we like that. Uh, Leveling up quite nicely, and let's release the game. And research available, character pro progression and day-night cycle. And you are going on holiday, goodbye. 
and we will uh, find a bit of contract work while we work, while we wait, while we work, while we wait. Um, let's get that one. That's easy. Come on. Let's see. I'm, I'm really worried about this game now. Stuff plus yeah. I don't think this is going to do well at all. There you go. Waste of money. Not very good at all. Yep. Yep. Waste of time. Yep. This is bombed. Four. Okay. And this is going to be pretty low as well. Five. Have seen better by all games. Hasn't done very well at all, I'm afraid. I think it's because we've uh, the the uh, sliders weren't put in the right one. Oh well, that's it. That is a big shame. Look at that. That's just this is just going to cost us a massive a massive headache. Uh, yeah. So when she comes back, we're going to have to develop a new game. We're going to have to develop something else. Okay, our final one on the list then. Develop new game. It is a racing, uh, a casual game, and apparently it's on the game link. Uh, V2, and it's going to call be called Stuff plus Carts. With a Z, I think it is. Yeah, Carts and an exclamation. No, no exclamation mark. Oh, okay. It's going to be for the young audience. And is that a good idea? Gameling on the young audience? I think it is. Uh, Gameling, yeah, young audience is always good. Right, let's start this. Uh, put on 2D Graphics V3. Let's see what happens. So casual, we want quite a good. Uh, what is it? Uh, bit in, a lot in design. So we want gameplay story. We can take out to the bottom. We don't need to put a steer. Do we put a steering wheel in? See, I don't understand this. We're developing on the gaming, which we know for a fact is a handheld console, but you can't have a steering wheel. I'm gonna put it in anyway, just for the crack. Um, story quests will have a little bit up. Uh, we'll engine. We don't need too much. Is it? What have I said? Uh, Twenty for story and for engine and story and maxed out for gameplay. That's fine. Good. Develop. Go. Develop. Don't scratch your head. Oh, good grief. There you go. Develop. Excellent. We need more in design. Um, level design. Qu so what's this one? Uh, dialogue zero. Okay, that's fine. AI twenty and. Uh, level design max. That's fine with me. That'll do me nicely. Oh no! Stuff us yard. Quite a few undiscovered bugs when released. Some of our customers are having a bad time with this. They demand a patch for the game. We can either spend the money, patch the game, or ignore that, please. If you want to patch the game, and click on character and use the action menu to develop a patch, but should you wait for too long? <sighs> Look, I can't. I'm going to have to, really. I don't know. Well, I won't be able I don't have the time. I'm developing a new game. Oh god, I'm, became, I'm becoming one of them games development companies. Ship out a really crappy game and then don't support it afterwards. No. Anyway, next one is uh, finally um, uh, graphics and sound maxed. Okay, and world design. Oh, all maxed apparently. Uh, we're not going to make it open world though. And mono sounds. Uh, no, no. Let's reduce these executive decision. Let's pull that down a bit to about there. Give the world design up. That's good. Uh, we want a lot of design in this, but we're not getting much design because we don't really have a designer, do we? Um, it's mainly gone in technology, look at that. <laughs> okay, uh, let's do a... Let's just do a basic marketing campaign for 50, 50k. Uh, today, Vony have announced their very own console called the Play System. Apparently, the company has completely reworked their earlier Play System. Prototype uh, after Nevento cancelled the project. The new play system comes with a CD-ROM drive and 32-bit processors and wholly owned by Vony. Industry professionals say this might be the beginning of a new generation of consoles. Nevento declined to comment. The play system will enter the market next month. Excellent. Right, let's finish the bugs. Close, uh, just knock them off. Uh, Stuff with CR is off the market. It's sold pathetic amounts. Right, there we go. No more bugs. Far too much in technology. This is not going to go too well. Uh, and there we go. Look, the recent plant please for a stuff plus uh, patch for stuff plus. Yeah, I've gone unanswered. Unfortunately, we've lost a couple of fans for that. Sorry about that. I just developed my new game at the time. Right here we go. New, t new, new topic. New combo. Great combo. New record on technology design should have been a lot higher for this one. I know. Um, we'll send him on vacation. And I think I'll start researching things like character progression. You can start researching uh, medium games, because we might start doing that next episode. Medium games, you actually have like a publisher and such. The first reviews for our new release game, Stuff Plus Cats, came in. This could make or break the company. Come on. Nine, almost perfect by Star Games. Good start. Good start. Nine, more plays by Inform Gamer. Oh, come on. Please be a 10. Nine, racing and casual, casual is a great combination. And eight, their focus on gameplay serve this game very well. Come on. Please, please sell, please sell. Oh, today the new game platform by Play System Vony, uh, the Play System by Vony has been released. Please sell. Oh, it's selling. It's selling. Oh, not very well. <laughs> Hi, Stuff Plus. Following the progress of Stuff Plus Entertainment for a while, it seems that your recent expansion 
Uh, you've also started to develop larger games. Larger games deserve to see uh, seen by more people, and this is where the publisher can come in handy. Publisher will market and publish your game around the world. They will also help fund development in return to keep most of the profits. But since uh, but since the game will sell a lot more, it's usually uh, still worth it. I can put you in touch with some publishers if you can look at some of the available contracts. Just let me know. Uh, find publisher contracts unlocked. Yep. So we basically what we can do, we can go to find publishing deal. I'll just close this down. Uh, close, close, yes, 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 we know, yes, we know. Right, so what happens is, basically you have a publishing deal, and you can select, you, these are all the deals, so for example, there's a contract for government and strategy game, um, by Lowood Productions, and it's going to, they're going to give 75k up front, uh, we need the license for the Ven Oasis, so I haven't got that yet, I also haven't got government research, and they want a minimum score of 5, they want, it's, the fixed it so it has to be developed uh, uh, game size medium and target audience everybody if it doesn't re uh, receive a minimum score of 5 across the board we will get a penalty of 200k but we will get 9% royalties for the game when, uh, for the game when it sells there's another one for vocabulary and, ca uh, vocabulary and casual <laughs> I wish I could uh, play that game vocabulary and we have also got a comedy and any genre uh, a lot 11% royalties but need mi minimum score of 6 what's this one here that's minimum score of 7 and a racing strategy, minimum score of 8. That'll be difficult to do. And the penalties, look at that, the penalties, 270k. But you do get 14% royalties. Hmm, that was Lowood. This is Electronic Mass. And that is Ubisoft. And Lowood again. How's our stuff was cart? It's selling alright. It's not really going off the dial. Uh, it's not selling greatly. So I think what we'll have to do is, let's fill the position. Let's get a show reel up. Uh, we're going to get uh, a designer in, so let's start searching for that. Uh, we're sticking above, as long as we stick above the two million, I'm not going to worry. Although we are going down. Uh, design is 2022. This one is <laughs> technology seven design, uh, 192, and Tom is 364 and 35. Tom, welcome aboard. And you can be trained in staff welcome training, and everybody's going to have to acclimatise to him. Right, so that is all the games we're going to be developing for this episode. So for our next episode, uh, obviously in the comments, put uh, your game suggestions, put in what you would like to see developed. Again, the more detail the better. Uh, stuff plus cards, even though it got massive reviews, didn't really sell that great. It's basically because we didn't, we can't really market them as well, which is why we might have to start looking at publishers. Um, we just made over half a million in that, so not even enough to keep us ticking over. Um, yes, what we'll be doing is, uh, next episode we'll be doing more game development. We even might go into uh, publishing deals. We we'll might do might do some publishing deals. As I said, uh, you know, each one of them gives you different things, so you get uh, royalties, so you get more money, uh, depending on how high the percentage of royalties are. You also get money up front, but you get a penalty if you don't reach the minimum score. And also you have to have spe like, you know, very specific things, so you need this one's the Venom Oasis. Has to be um, a government game, which to be fair, I could probably just go and research and got a new topic, government. That's pretty simple to do. In fact, I might as well start doing it. You can research a new topic, uh, vocabulary, and you can start researching a new topic of uh, comedy. There you go. Might as well get them researching. And you, you can start researching uh, a new topic of uh, City. Ooh, city sounds good. Start researching that. So there you go. Uh, yeah, what we'll be doing is uh, next episode we'll be doing pretty much whatever games again you post. So post in the comments your games. The more detail the better. If you have, if you list all the dev stages, you're pretty much almost certainly going to be picked. That's the way I sort of pick them. The more detail, uh, you know, the more effort you put in to give the game. Uh, that you want to be developed, then you know the more effort I'll do, I'll, I'll, I'll make to actually make sure they get, get featured in here. Sorry if I haven't featured your uh, game in this episode. I've tried my best to fit in as many as I can. But uh, the game is quite fast paced, um, which is weird. But yeah, it is quite fast paced. So, you know, I'll do my best I can. Again, uh, put it in the description what you want. Uh, if you want to do contracts, uh, and if you, you've seen the contracts, I'll just quickly go through again. No, not contracts, uh, publishing deals. Uh, there's that one there. You can pause this. There's that one there. That one there. And that one there. Pick which one you want to do if you want, and you know if you do pick one of these, say which uh, what levels you want to put the sliders in, and what technology you want to put in, etc., etc. I haven't got the uh, license to that, but I can easily get that. That's not a problem. Um, and yeah, pretty much let me know in the comments. Right, thank you very much for watching. Take care and generic partings. Let's hope we don't go bankrupt next episode.